I, I got a question. Can I ask a question? Of course. Thank you. 75% because you guys got more brokers and more a better freight, wouldn't that be an increase instead of a decrease? That that don't make no sense to me. Uh, no, because when the companies, uh, when companies do that, they deduct more from paychecks and everything, and we don't want to do that uh, because we we are giving you opportunity to earn good, really good amount of money and with same deductions. <laughs> Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at... Yo. Hello, Eagle. How are you doing? Wait, this is who now? Super Eagle Trucking Company, yeah. Super Eagle. What's up? Okay, I'm calling you to see are you maybe interested in our release program for potential new drivers. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Talk to me. What you guys got available? Okay, so you will get paid seventy five percent from each offer load. If wait, you walk away. wait, 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 wait. Seventy five percent? Yeah. I I saw somewhere where it was eighty eight. What? Yeah, it was eighty eight for two or three weeks. I'm not sure about it. Two or three weeks, but we change it because now we sign with a lot of brokers. We have even better customers. Our loads are now paid or much more. So now you can even earn more than before. I, I got a question. Can I ask a question? Of course. Thank you. 75% because you guys got more brokers and more a better freight. Wouldn't that be an increase instead of a decrease? That That don't make no sense to me. Uh, no, because when the companies uh, when companies do that, they deduct more from paychecks and everything, and we don't want to do that uh, because we we are giving you opportunity to earn good really good amount of money and with same deductions. Oh. So if you wanna if you wanna drive, you will you will earn. Okay, okay. I'm 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 sorry for interrupting. You. Go go ahead, continue. No problem, no problem. It's normal to ask questions. Okay, so it's a walk away lease, no loan payment at the end of the contract, no first dispatch. That means you choose where and when you want to go. We cover all 48 states. You can choose your home time. If you don't like go, you can ask for another one. Uh, also, we have new application and you can choose which road you want. It's almost like self disk thing. You hold the 99 position. Uh, so tell me, are you interested in a used truck or brand new? All right, so listening to everything you just said, I, I got a few questions in that. You mentioned that I can choose my own loads. So you guys have a load board that I can choose from? Yeah. Oh, okay, so this that means I won't be dispatched out by no no dispatcher. This would be like go on the load board, choose my loads, get it accepted, and then I can go in and, and, and do that load, right? You will still have your dispatcher. It's not uh it's not self dispatch, but it's almost like because you can choose and then tell him what you exactly wanna do. Okay, I, I, I get it. So let me see if I can understand it a little bit better. So I okay. can't I I can choose my loads, but I still have to run it through the dispatcher first so that he can assign the load to me, right? Something like that. I mean, you will choose the load, and you will tell your you will have your dispatcher because it's more helpful like that. And you will tell him, hey, I don't want to run these days. I don't want to do that. And when you when you choose some load, you you will you will tell him he will offer you maybe something better. Maybe not. He's gonna agree. Okay, do that. You know, it's just like there to it's there to help you. Nothing else. Okay. Well, see, my mind works in a warped kind of way so actually what i heard out of all of that is i don't get to choose my own loads the way i want to run that's i mean nothing against you but that's that's what i heard in my head <laughs> no uh -oh. you too so, it's nothing against it's nothing against you. it's just the way that i be listening and and my warped no. sense of mind be be processing so 
Okay, all right. Okay, so... maybe it's my mistake. You can choose that. So our official offer says you can choose which load you want. Okay, okay. So, okay. okay, so... Maybe it's better this way. Right, right, right. Okay, so since we're on the subject of of a dis- dispatcher, so I will have a particular dispatcher assigned to me? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So what would have happened, let's say if me and that dispatcher is not seeing eye to eye, and I feel as though that this dispatcher is hindering me in making money, because I, I don't get me wrong, I, I know a lot mm-hmm. of drivers that work for the company, but they do have some some issues with their dispatchers, kind of like standing in the way of making their money. So if I get in that particular situation, you can you can replace it. Okay, so I can request another dispatcher? Of course you can. But I have the opportunity to request a dispatcher that's out of the states. Out of the states? Okay, so let me let me let me explain what I mean by that. So some of the dispatchers are across the seas. And the only way to get in contact with them, if you need to get in contact with them, is through WhatsApp or an overseas phone number or something like that. What I mean by a dispatcher that's here in the States, somebody that I can actually talk to face to face if I have a problem. Would I be able to, would I be offered a dispatcher that is here and not over across the seas or anything like that? We don't have them. There's, that's the thing. Uh, but, you know, it's a problem because many, many people are there who, who can, you should talk with like yard manager, safety, you know, sometimes me. So, you know, okay. I don't think that's going to make a problem because whenever you, don't like something you can tell first to me and I'm gonna do everything that I can to change that so wonder another reason why I asked that is because I, I've been in trucking for almost 10 years so you I didn't? yeah no 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 I no I've been in trucking for for just about 10 years so and how much experience how much experience you share with CDL ten, plus C over the road 10 years all consecutive uh, but is, is it, no. But is it over the road? Yeah, all, all consecutive over the road, 10 years. So I've been out here for 10 yeah, okay, years. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Okay, okay, good, good. It's good to ask. So another reason why I'm asking is because... So if I get a, a, a dispatcher, if I have a problem or something like that, I would prefer to have a, a, a face-to-face with, with that particular dispatcher that I got. I can go into the office and say, hey, my guy, this, that, and the third. Maybe get a handshake out of the, out of them or something like that. Just to have like a face-to-face, eyeball-to-eyeball type situation. So basically, again, how my work sense of mind works, what I heard from you is the only people that's in Illinois is safety, the yard manager, and maybe the and and maybe the recruiting department or something like that. As far as the dispatchers goes, there's no dispatchers in Illinois. That's what you're saying, or that's what I'm getting. The most of them are not in Illinois, so okay, that's the thing. Gotcha, gotcha. How about how about yourself? Because you're you're a recruiter with with the company. Yeah. Are are you in Illinois or or are you somewhere else? I'm not- I'm not always there. I'm traveling a lot. So okay. So if I decide if I decide to jump on board with you, there there would be a good chance of me actually meeting you at the Illinois office. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I will be there, but I don't know in in which time exactly. You know. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I, I was there. I was there. I was there last week. Maybe I'm gonna be on the yard next week. I'm not sure. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know if I decide to make the mm-hmm. jump over there. Okay, okay. Walk away lease. So you guys is offering mm-hmm. me an opportunity to own my truck within a couple of years. Is it is it a variance between the new trucks and the older trucks as far as how fast I can own it? The only big difference between the two is the use. Trucks are zero down payment, 
and brand new trucks, you need to do 5k down payment for them. So new trucks are from 2018 to 2023, zero down payment and 300 to 650 a week, depends on which truck you choose. And the brand new is 2024, 5k down payment and 700 weekly. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Now, again, I like to ask questions. Because, like I said before, I, I do know drivers of the company. There won't. So if I decide to go with a new truck, I will come to Illinois. I will pick out the truck from the yard, a brand new truck. But let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. uh, would there be, there, there wouldn't be no type of bait and switch for me. Like, for example, I'll come there and say, oh, okay, well, 2024 isn't there, but if you go and recover this truck that's over in Mexico or New Mexico, that's your brand new truck right there. Would I would I be put in a situation like that? Look, brand new trucks are not in recovery, so that's the thing. But if you want to recover the truck, you will get thousand dollars bonus. That's why why drivers usually do that, and they are doing it with the used trucks. But brand new trucks are on the yard. Okay, okay. So, you need to worry about that. I mean, we have a lot of trucks going and coming every day, so it should be there on the yard. And if you don't have the money at the moment for for down payment, you can also get a used one that replaces with a brand new. So, we are basically giving you opportunity to for like everything, you know. Okay, also get us some opportunity to make to make a little bit more money. Yeah. Side sidebar, a uh, side question on that because I noticed that there is a handful of super eagle trucks that's just laying around. But why why are there so many trucks that need to be recovered? If you can answer that for me, because a lot of drivers are just driving and decide to to go home and or something like that they they leave the truck on on way to uh, mississippi for example they are not answering this is just for example what 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 happened last week okay he left the truck he didn't answer a few days so we found the truck he was not in a good condition anymore I, I personally don't don't know reason why what what happened and uh, he just left the truck so we are you know sending a driver if they want to do that because they will get a thousand dollar bonus we pay them flight tickets to go go there and you know some drivers uh, you know want to do that because of the money gotcha gotcha okay okay i appreciate that well i got one more question and then i'll 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 give it back to you to see what else you got to offer for me but what if i was in a situation and you guys decided to send one of your representatives to come and take possession of the truck and let's say i left my my personal belongings on the truck how would how would i be able to retrieve all of my belongings off the truck after you guys come and take possession of it i'm, I'm and i'm just i'm not we have a storage we have a storage in the yard where we, where we are putting that okay 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 but would there be a way for me to get in contact with somebody in case of a situation like that would i would be able to contact somebody directly and say hey truck number oh no let's of let's th let's throw a truck number out there 6601 i'm trying to locate the truck so i can come and get my belongings uh, would there be somebody there for me to ask or get in contact with hello Sorry? no did you hear me you didn't hear you no no you need to repeat the last part uh, okay what what part did did you hear any of that what? I heard you when, when I answered the question. Can you call someone directly? Okay, okay. So let's 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 just throw out a ballpark. Let's say if I'm driving truck number six six one, and I I'm trying to locate the truck so I can get my belongings off the truck. Would there be somebody that I can directly? contact for that and i'm just hypothetical here that's all of course 
of course you you will always have someone you can contact directly whatever you need i mean i'm working till 4 p.m and i talked with a driver yesterday at 8 p.m because he was on, he was late in the yard so okay okay so you can always go is someone there, directly well let me ask you that let me ask you this is there a direct contact number that i can call in situations like that yeah oh, okay okay cool all right well 75 percent of the load five five thousand down on a new truck nothing down on a used truck what, what i'm looking at for at least three years five years depends on on what you choose it can be three it can be five if you don't want a brand new used one depends on the truck you choose okay so give me a total of the total expenses that will be coming out of my settlements every week a roundabout okay look you have truck in a trailer now I don't know why you're gonna rent a trailer or you're gonna lease it because if you lease the trailer it's 300 if you rent it it's 225 so that's first thing then depends on on which truck you choose so what you have uh, you have bobtail insurance that's 465 monthly you have ELD that's 150 monthly that that's it or is there more and you have cargo Cargo and liability insurance, that's to an a fifty and a registration and escrow, but that's a thousand bucks for a year. So that's gonna be paid on eight installments. So that's why I can tell you exactly weekly amount. Alright, so let's spitball here. So truck, trailer, ELD, insurance, miscellaneous, maybe around fifteen to maybe seventeen hundred dollars a week. And expenses that and that's what out the fuel, right? Give or take ballpark. Would you would you agree with that? I think yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like that. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Cool beans. Oh, you're good. Yeah. 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 yeah you're uh, good. Oh, well, thank yeah, you. I, thank you. All yeah, right. it's something like that, but you know that always depends on what you choose. So let let's say that something around that because I'm counting now that my drivers, one my driver, have twenty seven hundred after all deductions. So weekly, so that's something like that. Yeah, you're right. Okay, okay, cool, cool beans. All right, all right. So what about now? Since we got that out of the way right there, what about the fuel? Do we get any type of fuel discounts or anything like no. that? We we provide you fuel card with two and fifty gallons daily. Fuel card. Whoa, 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 whoa. How much fuel daily? Two and fifty gallons daily. Two hundred and fifty gallons daily. Okay, so okay now 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 you got my my mind warped again. So I'm thinking at some point I won't be able to asset that card until. I need to get fuel again, right? Sorry? I said, uh, I, excuse me. So you say 250 gallons daily. So that means, yeah. I, that means I won't be able to asset that card until the next following day or until I need to get some fuel. No, no. That means how much we provide you. Okay. Okay. All right. So you guys provide me with a fuel card. I got a two part question on that. The first question is, is the fuel car turned on and off? Like, if I need, if I really need some fuel, would I be able to fuel, or do I have to call and ask for permission to fuel? No, of course, you can, you can go for the fuel, you don't need to have permission. Okay, okay. And the second part question is, can I bring my own fuel car? Um, I'm not sure about it. Honestly, I, I, I will need to check that. Okay, okay. I, I was just asking because there are some drivers that, that prefer to just have their own fuel car because we get better mm -hmm. we get better discounts on, on our own personal fuel car. Okay, all right. Well, sounds good and everything. Okay, that's not a problem. If you, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. And if you decide something, you can send me your CDL and your medical on this number. Okay, cool, so, yeah. cool, cool beans. Uh, before we get up out of here, I do have one last question for you. I, I know this is probably might be a, a controversial question that you probably can ask or can't ask, but what is the situation that's going on right now with the with the class action lawsuit? 
With what? The class action lawsuit that the that some of the drivers filed against uh, filed against Super Eagle. Is there is is there anything that's going on with that? You know what the thing? A lot of drivers don't want to don't want to drive. They just want to have I don't know what amount of money, and their drivers are are not liking the job. So you will always have bad comments and everything. So from that and other frustrations and everything, it can go up to something like lawsuits. So there was a people who are saying because of like calling, but you know we are calling to offer offer the job. So I don't think that anything rude because when when people tell us to take take them off the list we take them so but you know you will always have some frustrated people who will say oh i'm gonna sue you because you called me five times this week so there's there's a lot of situation that i can explain you about it gotcha gotcha well thank you very much for your time i really do appreciate it no problem thank you you have welcome. a nice day i will i will thank you bye bye All right, let's get into it. Controversial company, Super Ego, once again calling up under the phone number, Floyd. I wasn't even sure if that was a thing. I looked at it and it says Floyd. I, I didn't get a chance to look at the phone number directly, but it says Floyd. And guys, when I saw that, I'm, I'm over here thinking that they're calling me about the video. That's what I, I thought they was going to call me about the video. And I was like, okay, well, let's see what they got to say. Maybe they want to probably want to talk about the video. But no, it wasn't that. It was another A&R recruiter from controversial company Super Eagle to offer me another opportunity to jump on with the company and drive for them. This time offering 75% of the load. Man, that's a hell of a drop from 88% of the load. Now it is 75% of the load. And when I asked the young lady, hey, 75%? I thought it was 88. In her terms, explaining to me that you make more money at 75% of the load than you would at 88% of the load. Don't get me wrong. I don't know how that's possible because 88% is mathematically more than 75%. But she said because they got more brokers, they got better loads, they got more freight, you will make more money at 75% of the load. Again, the math ain't mapping for me. I mean, 88%, you will make more, I guess. But as you guys have heard in the conversation, and I touched on a lot of things. I touched on the on the lawsuit at the very end of the conversation. I, I made a reference to Tim, to Tim's truck, as far as if the truck get recovered by anybody, how are we able to find the truck to get our stuff out of there? She did say that you could get in contact with somebody or to be in the storage at at Illinois, but we kind of figured out how that went with Tim's situation. So yeah, that part. Anyway, as far as the dispatchers go, you guys know about that blockbuster conversation that I had with Tony and his dispatcher. So I did kind of emphasize the dispatchers over at controversial company, Super Eagle, which we do know that majority of them are not here in the States. Uh, they are overseas and nine times out of 10, you're not gonna have a face-to-face -face with them. She kind of pretty much cemented that, being that is not many people over at the Illinois office. And yeah, we talked a little bit about that. But guys, controversial company, Super Eagle is still reaching out to you to offer you 75% of the load this time. Again, you guys know, okay? Do your due diligence before you decide to take their offer. They're offering you $5,000 down for a new truck, no money down for a used truck. And when I did ask about why there are so many trucks being recovered, I don't know if her explanation is a good one, but she gave an explanation for it. So again, Super Eagle, Jordan, Floyd, Wind, Wind House, City Wind, City 
Win, Win City, Twin, LL something. Just know that all of those companies up under the Super Eagle banner, Floyd, you need to do your due diligence on before you give them the benefit of the doubt. Make sure you go through all of the YouTube videos. Make sure you go through all of the all of the responses. Make sure you go through all of the reviews. Maybe talk to a few Super Eagle drivers. Maybe listen to this particular channel because we're the channel for Super Eagle content. I'm just saying. So just just do your due diligence before you decide to give controversial company Super Eagle a chance at you. Thank you guys for listening. And if you have a suggestion for the next MTC, you can do that by supporting the cause. You can leave it in the Gmail, lockout me and podcast guests at gmail.com. Leave it in the comment section or you can support the cause by cash out. Dollar sign lockout men. Leave who you would like for us to call and we will get a shout out for you for that call. I am lockout men and this is the MTC on the recruiter call channel. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Who's next?